All right. Hi, folks. Mr. Schindel here, along with Mr. Pallas and Mr. Wendell. We're working on Lab 20B, Resistance and Ohm's Law. Our goal here is to figure out an unknown resistance in three different resistors. Today, we're going to start with our red resistor. You can see we're already set up according to the diagram. We have two multimeters here. You'll probably have one. Be sure when you're changing between measuring voltage and amperage, you move the red wire and the black wire and the dial to the correct positions. On this side, we're going to measure the voltage of our red resistor. Close our switch. Everything is connected. I'm going to measure across our red resistor. And here it says 1.46 volts. I'm going to write that down. Mr. Pallas is going to help us out. He's going to measure the amperage. So I'm going to open the switch. And these wires have been changed. Since I'm measuring amperage, the red wire is in the top position. I've changed my dial down to the 10 amp setting. Open the switch and make the connection with your lead wires. So this amperage is 0 0.07 amps. What we've done is we've gone ahead and measured our voltages and currents across the green and the blue. Keep in mind that for us, calculating resistance, resistance is current divided by voltage. You will need that for the next step. We've gone ahead, we've already measured the voltage and current for the red resistor. We also did for the green, and we did it for the blue. At this point, you're going to be asked to calculate the resistance. Remember to calculate resistance, it's voltage divided by current. Part two for us has, has us looking at resistance in potentiometers. As we turn our dial, things will change. So let's see what the resistance is while it's set to zero. Notice that we have our red and blacks in the correct place, and we are set to ohms down here with our multimeter. Put the multimeter on either side, press firmly, and our resistance is 1.0 ohms. And if we set our dial to number two, again, your dial might be different. Repeat the process here. We are right around 21.9 ohms. We've gone ahead and we've turned the dial. We've tracked position four, six, and eight. And you can see our resistance readings at those locations. For our last part, we're looking at voltage drop across the light bulb as well as voltage drop across the potentiometer. We've set up our system here. Notice that we have two batteries, both pointing in the same direction to complete our circuit. Our potentiometer is set at zero. Again, your numbers might be slightly different. Our voltmeter is set correctly. We have our black wire, our red wire, and we are set to 20 volts DC, because we're measuring from 0 to 20 volts. If we take our potentiometer, our potentiometer position is 0. Voltage drop across our potentiometer. I take my two wires right here, my two leads, one to one side, one to the other side, and my voltage drop is 0 0.01 volts. And I will do the same with the light bulb. And in that case, we are looking at around 2.8. And those are volts as well. Our observed light output is very, very bright. We took our potentiometer, repeated the experiment several times. What we did was we continued to turn that potentiometer to dial position one, two, three, and four. We increased our potentiometer number. And as we did, the voltage drop across the potentiometer increased. You can see what happened to the voltage drop across our bulbs. And also our observed light output went from very bright to extremely, extremely dim. At this point, we've collected all the data for this lab. 
take what you've learned and use that to complete our remaining questions.